Hello everyone, my name is Luis Rivera and this is my anthropology assignment titled Survival of the Sneakiest. Now for this assignment several questions were posed. Um, one of these questions was uh, what does fitness mean in evolutionary terms? Um, when it comes to crickets, what does fitness mean? Now, for evolutionary terms, uh, the frequency of certain genotypes over others show the fitness of the most frequent genotype. However, when it comes to the cricket, the propensity to contribute offsprings to future generations is what defines fitness. The second question that was asked was when is calling a good or bad thing for a cricket's fitness? Um, also to contrast the reasons why it is selectively good versus the reasons why it's selectively bad. Well, in the cartoon, uh, we see the example of the cricket making the call. In a good scenario, the cricket mates and contributes to offsprings to the future generations. However, in the bad scenario, the cricket attracts a predator and is unfortunately eaten and does not get to pass on his offspring. As for question three, we were asked to describe three different incidents in the story in which a cricket is eliminating from mating and thus unable to pass on his uh, cricket genes. Well, in incident one, the cricket makes a mating call, but there is no around to hear it. Thus, he is unable to mate. In incident two, the possible mate of the calling cricket gets intercepted by a sneaker cricket, and the caller is unable to mate. In incident three, the calling cricket attracts a predator and is eaten, and this definitely makes him unable to mate. For the fourth question, uh, we were asked that if ultimately we would say the pattern of natural selection that is affecting the entire population of crickets, not just the ones in the story, is considered stabilizing, directional, or disruptive. Uh, for this, um, I looked up an article uh, so I can get a better grasp on the population of crickets, not just the ones from the story. And I have an excerpt uh, from an article called Sex, Death, and Genetic Variation, Natural and Sexual Selection on Cricket Songs. This was written by David A. Gray and William H. Kedd. The excerpt is as follows. Female crickets exert stabilizing sexual selection, whereas flies exert disruptive natural selection on male songs. Disruptive natural selection will promote genetic variation and population divergence. Stabilizing sexual selection will reduce genetic variation and maintain a population cohesiveness. These forces may balance and together maintain and observe high levels of genetic variation. For the final question that was asked, um, we were asked that in what specific ways does the environment trigger the practice of cricket calling? Well, if we look at the cartoon in the extra cricket section, uh, we see that it gives us a fun fact on how climate change actually affects the frequency of the cricket song. The hotter it gets, the more frequent it is. In fact, um, many people estimate the temperature by the amount of frequency that the crickets do their song. And this concludes uh, my assignment. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Um, thank you very much, and until next time.